Hello, I'm back. Once again, there was a bit of a lag spike. I was just trying something and obviously it didn't work, so... This time I'm going to keep an eye on the recording. And how am I going to do that? I am going to... do a stopwatch. And by the way, if you want access to it, just right click. And then there's alarm, alarm message, and all that other stuff. So um, when this gets about to 9 minutes, I'm just going to cut it off and start a new one. Now, where was I? Victory for the Black Rock Flag! orc did in work on are completed here. Let me move this up here. Okay. Now, we can swim across rivers. If I can get into a swim. Or walk across. Either way it works. I'll uh, show you what it's like to swim once I get the opportunity. something? Have a good one. Right. I gain an extra bag placed here. This gives you extra room to put your stuff in, so that'll come in handy. And I now got a cape. Greetings. This one you want. Now this one is basically you have to the alliance. So I'm going to equip my new weapon and let's go kill the leader. This involves more walking, but luckily I have a shortcut. On your uh, keypad you'll see a button called now walk. And you'll have an auto which basically means you keep walking until you walk forward or walk backward. So you'll keep walking until you push W, S, or just click. To keep from directing, just push the arrow keys left and right, or A and D, and we'll uh, keep moving in a general direction. Okay. It's right about there, but we're going to try to avoid as much conflict as possible. As you can see, I am swimming now. It's a little slower, but you can swim. And when you go underwater, like I show, there this breath bar will come up, which means you have about three or two minutes to stay underwater. And if you run out of breath, you die. And when it gets about to here, your swimming speed goes slower. So uh, when you're going underwater, just keep in mind you will have limited time unless you drink an um, underwater potion, so to speak, which basically keeps you underwater without drowning. I'm gonna slip past these guys. Basically, if they're not part of the target, you wanna try to go past them as much as possible. Oh, and he's taking the wrath of my goodness.
not going to be able to do much without it. Alright, so we're about five minutes. Time for a little swim. Now, if you stay above water, you won't need to take a breath. And everyone's got a different swim pattern. So now Light we're done with this area, which means we get to move on to the next piece of land. Before we go, I'm going to show you what this new ability does. Right? Judgment? It does that. Just sends a holy hammer down against your enemy. So that's basically to get your enemy's attention, so to speak. Now you just head in this direction, or you follow the uh, arrow. It'll give you a general direction of where to go. So, as always, be sure you keep an eye on the map. And apparently someone's got a quest for me on the way there. How are you? To. And you can read this if you want, but long story short, he Have wants a good you one. to go to Minus Pride. So we're just going to go down this road, engage Numlock, and on up our way there. Now, when you're walking, you want to try to stay on the path as much as possible to avoid unpleasant encounters. Like, if you venture off the path, you'll uh, encounter beasts or humanoid stuff that as much as possible, especially if they're not part of the objective or you get out of them on you. So, you can when traveling. Like that wolf over there could have ambushed me. I think he's a big bad wolf, just he would be difficult. And as we enter into the city we'll see other players with um all sorts of uh, cool master young dragons. And basically there's a shaman over here. And, uh, Player, which basically means you get to challenge other people, see, and whoever has the, um, whoever's held down to one will become the winner. As you can see, the two lives right there. There are various races here. Players, these are druids, this is what they can turn into. This guy's saying good duel. That guy looks undead, but he's just using these guys. I mean, these people have different... And I got a buff. What can I do for you? Alright, now we get to choose a war, which means we have to select one, and we're good with it. So, I'm going to pick this one, because it has, uh... Better. Go with honor, friend. And of course, you get a number of quests that pop up. You don't want to accept all of them. There's an event going on, so that's why there's some going here. You need. See you later. 